Hi guys, it's Shortcakey. How you doing? Hope you're doing good today. And as you can see with the picture here, I'm going to be talking about Logan Paul, um, his interview with Good Morning America. I am going to play that. It's about six minutes long. I apologize about that. But I feel that this should be heard. And, you know, we'll go from there after it's done. So, here it is. It's, it's, it's been tough because, uh, ironically, I'm being told to commit suicide myself, which... Really? Millions of people literally telling me they hate me to go die in a fire. It's like the, the most horrible, horrific things. So you, you don't feel like the criticism has been fair? Uh, mm, that's, that's, that's the thing. I do. This is the Logan Paul his fans have never seen before. One month ago, the social media superstar with over 16 million YouTube subscribers was at the top of his game, breaking records with his wild viral video. I hit myself in the face again. That is, until he posted a clip from his visit to Japan's so-called suicide forest. What happened next would change his life forever. In an instant, he was met with fierce backlash. What made you decide to go to this forest? The idea was to just do another fun vlog, go camp for a night and make an entertaining piece of content in a forest. And uh, things obviously changed pretty, pretty drastically and quickly. The group came across an actual suicide victim. So it was 100 yards away from the parking lot. It just, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and I, I believe it happened for a reason. And I think that reason is so I could take this experience, learn from it, spread the message the right way mm -hmm. about suicide prevention and suicide prevention awareness. And, and so did you know, let, let's fast forward a little mm -hmm. bit. So you go and you, you film it and you film it, then you edit it and then you, you put it out there uh, for the world to see. Yeah. And, and, and was there a point when you said, hmm, maybe, maybe this is not a good decision. Maybe, this, maybe I should not show that. Yeah, yeah. The idea was to shock and show the harsh realities of suicide and get people talking about something that I don't think people are talking about much. And still, that's the goal today. And you have 16 million followers, which is an amazing amount, amazing amount of influence that you have. My kids. My kids know who you are. When, when you put out content like that, do you realize the age of your audience? It's odd because, Michael, I'm 22 years old. It's not like I'm making content necessarily for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I cuss. Sometimes I make uh, inappropriate jokes. I want to make jokes that kids my age are going to like. I'm my own demographic. Now, I will say I am much more aware of the impact that my actions have on myself and others. For parents out there, because in the father 13-year-old twin girl, it's very hard to know everything that your kids watch. Yeah. And there are a lot of parents. A lot of parents. Who are saying, you know what? I heard about Logan Paul. I didn't really know who he was until this happened. Mm -hmm. Who are really going to monitor their kids now. What would you like to say to them? I'm going to be honest with you, Michael. I think, I think parents should be monitoring what their children are watching more. Um, I, <laughs> every parent I meet whose kids are under the age of like 12, I go, hey... You, you let your kids watch my stuff? And they go, yeah, what am I going to do? Um, but at the same time, it's not like I'm a bad guy. I, I am a good guy who made a bad decision. Google Preferred dropped you from their service. Yeah. Do you think that that was, was fair of them to do? I understand that they needed to take a stance. And while I don't necessarily maybe agree with it, mm -hmm. I do respect it. I do respect it. But how does that uh, affect your bottom line? Um, want to know the real answer? Yeah, of course. It, it, it hurts, but it's not like I'm drowning. It's, it's, I don't, I try not to live my life thinking about money because money doesn't make me happy. Creating and making other people happy makes me happy. Creating content to make people smile and laugh, that's what makes me happy. 
So I, you did the Suicide Be Here Tomorrow. So what, what was that project about? Michael, I've gotten to meet the most incredible people and have the most incredible conversations. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's, that's one thing I don't regret about this whole experience is I would have missed out on making these relationships and getting this education. One of the things I'm learning, which actually pertains to me as well, is um, crisis passes. Crisis passes, man. And, and for anyone suffering, I think it's important to know that. Like, you are not alone. And for me, why I say it's important for me is because, like, dude, this has been, to, to be honest with you, the hardest time of my life. I've never been hated by the whole world. Uh, and it's, it's been something to definitely overcome. I will think twice in the future about what I post, probably three times. Logan vows to regain the trust and respect of his fans. I don't think everyone should get a second chance. Some people do horrible things. This is this is this was a horrible act of judgment. Mm -hmm. And I can, will, and am going to learn from it and be a better person. Let's hope he does do that. I mean, he certainly has uh -huh. had a very swift and large response to what right. he did. I remember the first uh, response video that he did after the video and because a lot of you remember parents were outraged but his followers were still like hey leave him alone and in that video he said to his followers hey don't defend me you can't defend what I did right. and yes uh, we all should have second chances in that and, and we can only hope that he is means what he said to Michael about wanting to use this as a moment. Well, it seems like what's having the most profound effect on him right now is the criticism he's getting yes. from those followers right, right now, right. how they've turned on him. And it does show the double power. He sort of lived off mm -hmm. of all that mm -hmm. attention, all that love, all that adoration. It turns. It it hurts. Now he has to deal with that, mm -hmm. right, the, the other side of it. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Thank you, Michael. And that's the end of the interview with Michael Strahan with Logan Paul, and sorry about my phone <laughs> going off right there. Now, you know, with him saying, you know, now he realizes the age range, and he'll think twice about what he chooses to share with the public. You know, you have kids under the age of 12, you know, who you know are your fans and watch your videos and you know your content's meant for older audience, but you know your, you know, the people that watch your videos are in the, you know, your age range and under 12. You know, you should know better what to post. And, you know, him saying, you know, parents saying, no, what, what are they going to do? Well, you know, that is true. You know, it is hard to monitor what your kids watch. But again, if, you know, you should know your age range when, you know, your fans come and meet you. I mean, hello. And then you post, you know, the suicide video, and you're wanting to, you know, shock. You know, well, you did a dang good job doing that, but that's the wrong, you did the wrong way, you went the wrong way about it. You know, granted, yes, you know, seeing Logan like this is a lot better than seeing him as the spastic you know, I don't care, I'm a maverick person, you know, it's, you know, yes, you want to have the I don't care attitude, well, you should care, you know, you disrespected Japan and other places that you've been banned from, I mean, hell. You jumped in the canal in Paris with your brother. I mean, there's a difference with being a maverick and having respect and being a maverick and having total disrespect of rules and everything. 
if you know your demographic audience, like I said before, is your age range and possibly younger kids from the parents and your fans that you meet, you should take more care of how you present your content and how you present yourself. I mean, social media itself has gotten totally out of hand, in my opinion. You know, with kids, you know, being sucked in with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. I mean, it's, to me, I know it's all fun and how you stay in touch with, you know, people you look up to, your idols and stuff like that. But, you know, and, and this goes with the Tide Pod Challenge. I mean, that stuff can literally, sorry, kill you. And yet you're doing the challenge. I mean, Glozell did this challenge and other people did. And this stuff is what you wash your clothes with. It's poison. And yet you do the challenge. It's idiotic. Again, with Logan, I mean, and any YouTuber needs to be careful with how they do their content and think about their content before they present it out. I like the YouTubers, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Kick the PJ, PewDiePie, his girlfriend Marzia. Those YouTubers kids can look up to. Logan Paul and his brother, not so much right now. Granted, he did say he was sorry, but is that enough? I don't think so, really. And I do have to say, people telling him to go kill himself and stuff like that is out of line. Nobody should say that to another person. Nobody. Every life is precious, whether they make mistakes or whatever. Every life is precious here on Earth. So, I'd like to get y'all thoughts on this, what y'all thought of the interview. Leave a like, comment below. Love you guys. Smooches and hugs. Bye!